Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the start of the control series. Really quickly, I just want to say it's sunny outside, but there's like a little bit of rain. It's really weird. Anyways, let's get into the video. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Alright, so, um, I saw, uh, Rad Brad, or Brad, whatever you want to call him, play this game. Um, unfortunately he never actually finished it. Um, so I want to finish it and see how it is. My sensitivity is really high. Um, I will probably change that depending on the, uh, depending on how the gameplay works out. Um, I guess we'll see. I'm just gonna go in every room here. Um, this seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. So, um... Yeah, I, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, let's see. There's a door here. Oh, this is the bathroom. All right. It's not exactly where I wanted to go. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. That's a, that's a window. I do apologize, guys. I'm walking into things. There is a glare and I can't really see it. Security orders. I'm pretty much just collecting everything. Um, I don't really... I think 505 uh, Games made this. Uh, creators of Halo, I believe. Hello? <laughs> um... So yeah, the graphics are really nice. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. 
Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Okay. Really quickly, guys, I'm going to uh, close this window behind me so that I don't have this glare unmapped area. <laughs> Alright, is this the elevator? Yes, it is. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Why is everything freaking out here? Internal lockdown in effect? Okay. A key card for that one. Wish I had a flashlight. That would have been nice. But ah well. Just looking through here. Uh, it's locked. There's a file over here. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. What was that? Shit. weapon? Really? <laughs> Alrighty. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Looks like I have a health bar at the bottom there. Bottom left. Okay. Good thing it told me last second. Okay. Looks like some Alan Wake stuff right there. Nice. So, see these little uh, blue things here? That's, um,. Your like health. If your health ever lowers, you actually have to go and pick up the health. Same gun. Uh. <laughs> so 
so yeah. Okay. Now and then, have a gun. And then this white thing. It uh, recharges when you don't use it, so mm -hmm. it's kind of nice. Oh, I hit all of them. Oh, that's good. the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here did this guy like things have quieted down outside exploded is it safe to go why does it turn orange what the heck okay how we going? Ooh, okay. Spooky. What is that? You can't let this happen. 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 Guard. All right. That scared me for a second. I thought they were like coming after me again. Uh, where do I need to go? I need to go. Eh? Go down here. What's nice is you get a um, walk with the map open. That's executive affairs. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. That, that was me.
Okay. I'm gonna look around here really quick. I do. Okay. That's pretty nice. Okay. Ooh. Dude, I like this. This is fun. Reminder: If you experience an unanticipated building shift, okay, where are we going? Going this way. Okay. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Yeah, true that. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I don't know. That doesn't sound too uh, attractive there. Okay. Um. Ah. So oh, that's a grenade. Okay, it looks like it takes about two hits. Okay. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, we're running. We're running. We're running. Give me your life. Uh -huh. get up the stairs! I can't see where the stairs are! Well, I died. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, you know what, bud? I... <sighs> when there's a submachine gun getting fired at you, I don't think it's really easy to avoid. It's like a burst. Try this again, I guess. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Did I lose my progress. The hiss no. burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Nope, oh, gonna go down there even if I wanted to. Um. Apples contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Guess I'm going down.
We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the beautiful... I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this... Hiss? That works? Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Alrighty. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. I just did a Thanos snap on that one. Whoopsies. Jesse, over I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. 
I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench? The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. All right. The door to the comms The hotline should be in the communications department. Origin of the hiss. Uh, we don't need to know this. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Yep, didn't even Just ask. Let me know. Didn't even say anything about it, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's see where we going. You go up there. So I should. I can't melee. Uh, gotta go this way. Aha! Big brain. There it is again. Our welcome message. Take this stuff. There it is. Tomasi. Ah, uh, see big alien boy. Don't go in there quite yet. Okay. Cool when I'm not aiming in. Hadouken! Oh. There we go. An energy boost. What's in here? Okay, okay. 
Whoa. It's overpowering here. That done drained my health. That's a shotgun. Okay. Health boost. Oh, for Christ's sakes, that's a lot of shield. Guns this boy. Alrighty. I think I got some. Communications are on the right track. Oh, that's steel, so I ain't gonna have it. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, about perfect fusion concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collectively. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. There's a lot of blood over there. This is another bathroom. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some snacks. Oh, that one more. Guess I'll go this way. Director proof. Okay. There's another shelter. <laughs> Only six people will fit in here. You could 
bit more than six people in here. Alright. Let's see. Dead letters is that way. An object of power. Looks like the hiss of We need to punch it. That's not something you hit. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, so if I let go of you, it won't just, all right. So that's my energy at the top there, the way. Hmm. All right. Telecomnesis. Oh. I still like melee. It's fun. Oh. I like the sound it makes. Just like you wanted. got here. So that doesn't work. This works. A reload speed. Okay. Personal mods. What do we got? We got launch efficiency or energy cost. We got health recovery. Got health and energy. 
Well, so what's better? Well, so this one's this one's worse. That one's worse. Let's do the health. I don't think I have enough health. These are just assets. Okay. Collectibles I'll look at later when I have time. Okay, okay, okay. Is that a sandbag? Is that a sniper? Demolition expert. No ranger. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. This must Ew. open the door. Claim control point. Can't use it yet, which is fast travel. I gotta teleport. What is that? Oh, it's Tomasi. Great. Of course. Okay, it looks like it aiming it is. Done hit him with a whole desk. Okay. I just done killed myself. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. The <laughs> the thing completely exploded into my face. Well, that's unfortunate. That was my bad. Uh, let's try again. Alright, where are we at? Alright. They can fly now. It exploded right. in my face. Controls or not controls. Uh, mouse aim assist. Well, he done hit me again. Done hit me again. I th <laughs> Hopefully, this aim assist will help. Because. <laughs> I obviously need to hit my shots. So he's the one that exploded it. Scumster. 
Cheers. Stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Eh. Saying there's a door. I am confused. I'm gonna go upstairs. I think that's where it's at. Hotline center? Well. around here first. Okay. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Alright, take this down. The got him. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy... The hotline can't be far now. not my fault. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream hmm. nothing here let's see middle one Ah, the last one, of course. The key has a black pyramid on it. Okay. Black pyramid.
I think I can destroy it, so... Looks like I have to go around it. It's blocking my own path. So, it's coming after me! Ah. Okay, bud. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. trench well listen to him he feels more like an echo an echo with important info right. i need to get back to emily all right so i got a little more time I'll probably just get back to emily People and then uh... react strongly when i tell them about you is it too soon to tell emily she might be able to help let's go to the directors and then back um yeah so I'll talk to Emily and then probably be done um body's gone alright see what's in here a lot of things are in here wow Okay, energy recovery. Right. This has already been in. Can I shoot these? Sort of, not really. Uh, if I go through. Probably taking the long way. Oh well. Did I check this already? Let me see. Yeah. Alright. Director's office. So, yeah, I definitely took the one more. See, where's Emily at? Where is Emily? Upstairs? No, wait, she was in the boardroom. Where the. <laughs> boardroom. Ah. Oh. Right in here. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team, people who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but 
He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Alrighty guys, so that is all the time I have for today. Um, let's look at some of these. So, do the directorial override. Um, got another personal mod here. Let's see. Literally the same. What's this? Energy boost and then energy recovered. Still better. Um, Assets, collectibles, hotline stuff. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly okay. ringing, okay. Okay. ringing so loud. Okay. Management team, Ocean View Motel. Got it. I just want to go through all these because I don't trench. Alright. Alright. Case files. Research. Ports, research, uh, multimedia. Um, upgrade and unlock new Do you abilities. hear that? Someone's singing. Singing? Where's it coming from? Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. What? You never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. Oh, I do have abilities. So, health, energy, melee damage, and launch. Well, I guess I'll buy all of these. All right, there we go. Additional weapon from form slot, astral constructs. Uh, need 
sources. Don't understand what these are. Construct a random personal mod. Why would I do that? Wait, 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 We'll save it for uh, next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Look at those palm trees, damn! <laughs>